video I'm going to show you how to get that classic Pino Palladino sound from the intro of Paul Young's Wherever I Lay My Hat That's My Home. There are some great interviews online with Pino and he talks about how he laid that bass line down and never expected it to be featured as much or as loud in the mix. He also gives credit for part of the bass line coming from Stravinsky's Rite of Spring. I once personally had the pleasure of meeting Pino and sitting in on an interview that he was doing. At the time I was playing in Jersey Boys in the West End of London and Pino was having an interview over the road in Ronnie Scott's but his gear hadn't turned up yet. So a phone call later and I ended up going over there with my P bass to lend him. I found him to be an extremely pleasant and unassuming guy and it was really great to sit in and listen to his interview. Nowadays Pino is mostly known for playing a P bass, um, but he played a Stingray fretless in this tune. This combined with a chorus effect, and of course Pino's exquisite playing, leads to that classic tone that we all know and love. You can use a fretted bass, but if you want to try and get near to replicating this sound, then you really need a fretless bass. I'm using a jazz bass for this video because I haven't got a Stingray fretless, so you will miss some of those classic Stingray overtones and growl that you get, um, but I think I can get fairly similar to the sound. And this fretless bass um, is actually a bass that I coloured and stained and put together from parts. Uh, and I really like it, I was really pleased with how it came out. To try to get nearer to Pino's sound, I'm also using a chorus pedal, and I'm using the Boss CEB3. The settings that I'm using on the pedal for this video are Level 2, Low Filter 2, Rate 11, Depth 1. I'll now play the intro for you, and then I'll talk through how to play it afterwards. <laughs> I've written this bass line down on a PDF with tab or notation and you can get that by clicking the link below this video in the description. First of all we've got a tricky double stop to play and that's D and B flat and play that with your second and your third finger and then we've got before that so slide up to the D and then you just have to jump down to that double stop and then so we've got A, B flat, A, so hammer on, F, D, G, so that whole bit, and then back up, no double stop this time, and we're sliding down D to C. So all these techniques like the slide and the double stops and the hammer-ons you really need to do if you want to get close to this sound on the intro. So slide down and then so that's similar to where we played it before but F, G, B flat then the hammer-on and then So slide from F to G, B flat, D, C, F. So the whole thing. And it helps as well if you play close to the um, fingerboard because you get a bigger sound there. And I actually play it fairly hard with my right hand. Also think about your vibrato, so moving your fingers there. Oh. Play the note and then rock side to side afterwards. Well hopefully that's given you more of an idea how to get that classic Pino sound. So experiment with your own bass setup 
um, and with your chorus pedals and get the PDF below and then play through that bass line and see how you get on. If you've got any questions about how to play this intro then feel free to ask me and you can do that by leaving a comment below this video. Also remember to subscribe to Greg Spaceshed here on YouTube by pressing the red subscribe button in the corner of this video. You might also want to head over to my website gregspaceshed.com I've got loads more free bass resources over there, there's a free members area, there's some info about my Skype lessons and you can join my mailing list over there. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed, I'll see you in the next video.